<sighs> hey, Magic fans, we're back again. I titled the last video, It Hurts So Good, because it does. So much hostility and anger over this product, especially the collector booster. But the boxes I've been opening are so above par, knock on wood, that it's really insane how good it feels to open it. And <sighs> It's really hard to say it feels good to open it, but it does because I see the cards I'm pulling and the the, the money symbols. It's just, it's incredible. I I don't know what to say other than this was actually a, a good investment currently, and that, that 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 gets me in the in the cockles of my heart because it just it feels weird to say that. It just, God, it feels weird. I, I don't know. So anyway, guys, this is your captain speaking here on Captain Clyde's MPG. We're on box five um, of the collector boosters. And I just, I'm I'm okay with it. I, I hate to say that I'm okay with it. Um, and maybe one of the reasons I'm okay with it is not just because the box is good money, but I'm not going through all these commons and uncommons well I mean there's a couple uncommons but there's no commons for me to go through and I and I, I think I'm okay with that and moving forward maybe this is the way to go for collector boosters but lower the price because you're putting less cards in I mean come on but like not dealing with commons I, I'm really I'm really starting to feel okay with that um, it's mainly in this kind of a product. I'm, now, the regular sets need comments. I get that. Let's not go there for you guys go haywire in the comment section. But I really think this may be the way to go as much as I hate to say that. But they've got to drop the price. Um, and, and that's, I think, the point that we're not going to see eye to eye on, like the community, Wizards, and, and everybody else, is the fact that, yes, we want it cheaper. No, they don't because they want their money to stay high. It's, uh, yeah, it's going to be uh, one of those things. So, well, let's get into it, and let's see if we can keep this ball rolling. Knock on wood of some great pack openings from this set of all things. Under City, we're going to guard this couple bucks. That's not terrible. Joelle. Our first Mythic, it's Kiora, Sovereign of the Deep, and she is, that is one of the best arts. Like, that's just so pretty. So, first Mythic. Very nice. Spark Rupture. Alright. I can't believe I'm okay with this. Ugh, this makes me, makes me feel dirty on the inside. I don't, I don't even know what else to say. I just feel dirty. So at least we had any of these that are faded yet. Training Grounds. Again, great reprint. Good $5 rare to hit. Niv Mizzet. Not doing anything these days. Stalwart. And the Urgy Boy Scavengers. Now that etched foil actually is pretty nice. I'm not going to lie. That one is kind of sexy. Alright, so Campus Reno Renovation. Our Halo Uncommon foil. Very nice. That one's really striking too. Alright. Rocco. Open the way. Harney. Ugh, nothing. So, I hope I haven't jinxed it. Um... But as you guys have seen, one pack could change everything as we've pulled three Mythics out of one of these packs before. And I mean powerhouse Mythics, not the cheap stuff. And it's my Copper Goat. Deification. That didn't help any. Ooh, it's a Halo Foil. So that does help. That's like a $10, $15 Halo Foil for a rare, so that's not terrible. Ooh, another Training's Ground. That's a good pack. There's another 5 10 bucks, well, $5 probably. Still, though, looking for those powerhouse mythics that we've seen in the previous boxes. Really take us home. Pia, Resolve, Halo Foil Scavengers. So normally there's only two Halos that are rare or above in a box. Unfortunately, these are the two that we got. was hoping to get another mythic Halo Foil. That would have been really nice. Uh, Deification. All right, two, four, six. So this is halfway through the box. So this should be the one that has... Uh, if I'm lucky, three Mythics in it. <laughs> Ooh, Halo Foil Markov. Very nice. Oh, speaking of Mythics. 
Oh, Sauron, or Sauron, I swear I got sleep last night. Anyway, Sargon, Soul of Flame, very nice. Mythic number one, ooh, and a training's ground. Good hit. Mythic, ah, uh, just a resolve. Mythic, not just Nashi. Nashi, Nashi. So two Mythics halfway through, I mean, it's not terrible, but... This box is a lot weaker than what we've been seeing, which is probably some of the things that people have been complaining about and some of the boxes they've been getting. Okay, Narset, very nice. Mythic number three. Rare. Ooh, so that's probably the best Sagat or Blessing you can get. This one's worth at least five to ten dollars. It's very pretty, it's nice. Love this art. And Arnie hanging out doing nothing. All right, come on. Where's the where's the big hits? Come on, big hits. Blot out. Tolarian Contempt. All right, Tyvar Mythic. Mythic number four. Not too shabby. Oath Sworn again. Foil Ruins. Ugh, another Draneth. Only four packs left. Um, not going well. So, as you know, my this tin foil hat on real quick. As you guys know. I say every six boxes, which is roughly a case, there's two bad boxes, two medium boxes, and two really good boxes, which averages out the entire boxes to what the price should be. And we might be seeing that here if we don't hit some more big some more big hits. Now, this may be one of the uh, bad boxes per se. So, ugh, man, that's a really bad pack. Three packs left. However, we got three really good boxes. So even if this one is a lower than average box, uh, overall, it's going to be kind of high, uh, but you'll see that in the uh, review video. All right, Contempt, Feast, more Scavengers, more Funerals, Plargy Boy, Ugh, and a Rebuild. Wow, four Mythics? Uh, we've been averaging seven to nine. Um, this one's not a feel-good. Um, but in, at the same time, it's hard for me to not feel too good after the other boxes I've opened because they were so good. But if you were just to buy one box, this is not the kind of box you'd want to get, obviously, Arnie. Ugh. Well, there's a Tyvar, Mythic number five. Not a good Mythic, but a Mythic nonetheless. So hopefully we, this is a three Mythic pack. Um, we've seen it quite often. Uh, knock on wood. Hopefully we see it again with this. All right, Death Rattle, Reckless, not a good start. Resolve, oh, Anissa, that helps a lot for box value. Very nice. Yeah, old school. So it's it's pretty, but it's not worth nothing, which is really sad. And Rocco. Well, we hit one of the best cards in a pack at the end, but this one only had six Mythics. Uh, we did have two Halo foil rares. I don't know. This, this box seems really weak. We'll have to wait and see uh, at the end when we go over it. So, um, let's revisit how I feel about this box. Uh, main reason for that is the last couple boxes have been really strong. Um, so, I wonder, you know, if... But this box makes me feel bad. I'll, we'll, ju we'll just say that. I, I don't know how else to put it other than I feel bad about opening this box. However, however, the previous boxes were really good, so I kind of suspected that one of the boxes we opened would not be good because you can't have every box be as high as the boxes that we were opening if you guys watched the series. We were doing way above average uh, as far as opening up some of these boxes, and it was really shocking me how good some of the pulls were. Um, for the whole box. I'm just throwing cards everywhere here. So, it's very interesting to see this, but at the same time, as much as I don't like it, I think in the grand scheme of things, I think it's okay. However, if you were to go out and buy this box from your local game store, and it was the only box you bought, you'd probably feel cheated. Um, Because that's how I would feel. But knowing that I opened the other boxes and one more to open... And what the average is, I don't feel cheated. So it's it's really weird 
how that plays out in the grand scheme of things. So tell me what you guys think below about the whole theory. Um, anyway, don't forget to subscribe. It helps the channel. Till next time, be kind. Hope to see you across from the game table. Later, player. One box left. And then we have to do a box foul video. Oh, boy. Mm -hmm.